fails to come up with a verdict in the case of a Franklin father charged in his young son's scalding death. As Local 12's Larry Davis reports live from Warren County, that led the judge to declare a mistrial for Robert Ritchie. Larry. Hi, Paula. Well, Robert Ritchie will be going home tonight. He will be released from jail shortly here in Lebanon. The judge releasing him on his own recognizance after the jury told him that they were hung and the judge then declared a mistrial. It was around 10 this morning. The jury first reported it could not reach a verdict for Robert Ritchie. Judge Robert Peeler told them to go back and keep trying. Some three hours later, the jurors returned and said that it was not possible for them to reach a verdict in this case. A mistrial declared and the judge ordered Ritchie free on his own recognizance. Ritchie said nothing as he was led back to the jail where he would be freed of his handcuffs and then allowed to go home. Following the decision, Ritchie's attorneys expressed relief and talked about what they thought was the sticking point for the jury. I think they looked at the damage, the devastating damage to that child and realized that uh, the child was probably beyond saving when Robert got home. And no matter what he would have done, that child had already gone to heaven. And Paula, late this afternoon, Prosecutor David Fornshell uh, spoke with reporters uh, outside the courtroom, and he said that uh, well, he actually praised both sides for trying a, a doing a good job in trying this case. But he also said that it will be at least two weeks before he decides whether or not to retry Robert Ritchie in, co in connection with his child's death. Live in Lebanon, Larry Davis, Local 12 News. Paula, back to you. All right, thank you, Larry. And coming up on Local 12 News at 5, you will hear what the grandparents of Austin Cooper are saying about the mistrial. The boy's stepmother, Anna Ritchie, who held the child down in that hot water, is serving an 18-year-to-life prison term.